In the vise here, you can see a uh, chartreuse and probably creamy white um, snake. Basically, I was asked to show how I tie my snake patterns. I'm sure, I'm not the only one who does this. Is I have a big preference for a bit of rabbit there, straight eyed hooks with a white gap, um, particularly for the back hook, which is the one that you're going to leave on. Now, um, it's hard to see through here, but basically my braid that's connecting the two hooks is just tied on with a knot. So it's a very fast way if you have to tie a couple of snakes. Um, you're not bringing tread down and gluing it and back up and worry about it pulling out. As long as you can tie a good knot and secures, and you could also put a drop of glue or UV resin on it, um, I use UV knot sense, then that shouldn't go anywhere. I'll just show you how to tie one of these. Take a size eight or 10 blob hook it's up to you really. Um, what what are, depends what size snake you're tying. Um, I'm going to use uh, some white thread. So catch it behind the eye here. Run it down. Trim that off. Take a piece of mink. It's got a natural taper in. It's going to cut another little bit of taper into it. At, at the end here and we're going to separate this about the length of the tail which you can see we've tied it in fairly short but we're going to separate it in here and catch it in just try and keep it on top do three or four good strong turns drop it back <clears throat> for the body of this I'm going to use some some shiner um, so sort of an angel here, colour in chartreuse. I'm just going to dub it on. Pull this out, and so on. But when you watch people tying snakes, a lot of the time they're using down eyed hooks on the back. Okay. Um, what I would suggest. I'm not saying you have to do it this way at all. It's just a straight eyed hook, and that's why I'm using this this blob hook, okay? Because it's a straight eyed hook, and there's a white gap. Okay. So I'm going to finish off the back hook. So bring your main strip strip forward. Just wet your fingers. Okay. Pull it out. Trap in your trap in your um, mink. A couple of turns. Pull it back. Couple of turns onto the hook shank. I'm just going to throw a hitch in just to make my life a small bit easier. Get your whip finished too. Just have a bit more tread. A couple of three or four turns of finish. Okay, and that's your back hook done. Now I haven't attached any of my braid. You can use braid, mono. I like to use a, a braided backing, not the hollow fly line braided back and just the normal stuff so what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to get a, a treader I'm going to push my fly line braided back and through it I'm going to pull the treader down that's going to pull through my um, backing okay very simple if you don't have a treader you could use a piece of wire then I'm just going to tie a simple knot three turns and back through similar to what you would if you were tying on a flight so that's on the eye of the hook now now it's up to you i'm going to use a little drop of uv knot sense into that knot make sure it's not going anywhere okay and if you tie a, a good knot with that braid's probably 30 pound breaking strain it's probably not going to go anywhere anyhow just put a drop on Rub it into the knot. You know, it is called knot sense for a reason. Get your UV torch and set your knot. Okay. So a straight eyed hook, straight braid to the front, everything should swim straight. Okay. Take that out of ice. Get your second hook. It can be really any wet fly hook if you want. Um, I'm actually going to use another straight eyed hook for the front. 
um, and this is a, just a smaller size blob hook. Okay, put my spring out of the way. <clears throat> so it makes tying snakes a little bit quicker when you're just tying the back hook on by tying the knot onto the eye of the hook and not doing all sorts of stuff. And measure it up, catch in your this will just make it a bit easier to put it through. Measure it up, put that forward. Get your treader. Just for a second. So, put your braided back and through. This is a slightly smaller hook, so. Right. Pull it through with your treader. Eventually, it goes through. So. And then bind it down underneath. Put it, trim it to there. Make life easy. Now, if you want, you can add super glue here. There's no real need. It's not going anywhere, trust me. But if you really want to, you can add super glue to that. Okay. Next, we want to add. Some of the same flesh. I'm just going to pull off like a sort of a, like a hank of it. Like so. That's just to cover up the okay. that. So that's just going to run just to cover up your your braid in the middle of it when you're pulling the fly. Get your ring strip, pull it forward. Again, just wet it to separate it, catch it in. Stub off a bit of your Flashy dubbin. This stuff is called shiner, it's kind of similar to angel hair, but you can dub it, you can tie it in as a hank, you can blend it in, it's really good stuff. I'll just bring this forward now. If you wanted, you could have eyes on the fly, you could have booby eyes, and all this kind of stuff, but it's not really necessary on every one of your patterns. So, again, just wet your mink. Trap it down, couple of turns, pull it back, couple of turns on the shank. Get your scissors in. Just try and be careful with that part. And then just build up your head. Like so. You can add a bit of um, you can add a bit of whatever dubbing, or you can use whatever lacquer or resin or whatever you want on that. So I'm just going to use another little bit of UV on it. Velcro brush, just give it a little tease out if you want, like so. And there's your finished, there's your finished snake. <laughs>